Get ready to sprout life back into your game night. This is our review of Earth. Earth is a hand management game about growing ecosystems. And I think the picturesque landscapes really gave me a newfound appreciation of Earth. This high score game is easy to learn and plays quickly. However, it left me feeling kind of underwhelmed. We'll tell you all about it after this quick how to play. Earth is played in rounds, with each player taking a turn each round and all players taking actions on every turn. On their turn, players will take one of four main actions that will either let them plant Earth cards, gain soil, gain sprouts, or gain more cards. All other players will perform the secondary action, which is a weaker variation of the main action. Then all players will perform the matching color actions on their cards, in their ecosystem, and on their player boards. Players perform actions left to right and top to bottom, which can lead to some really impressive chaining of actions. Once any player completes their 4x4 tableau ecosystem, all remaining players will take a turn, and then the game will end. Players will add up their scores from the numerous ways of gaining points, and the player with the most points wins. Before you go off planning your ecosystems, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. All your likes and subscribes really help our channel grow, so thank you. Earth was a very successful Kickstarter that we backed, and I'm glad that we did because I really enjoyed playing the game. However, I feel like it's getting a lot of hype right now because it just came out and everyone's adoring it, which I think it has some great mechanics and some great features. I just don't think it's like the best game ever. So that's why it left me a little underwhelmed. I just don't think it's as great as people are making it out to be. The whole theming of it, it just reminds me of Arc Nova or Life of the Amazonia. Yeah, reminds me of those two games specifically, but maybe a little bit of Parks too. I think that's what really caught my eye. The pictures are great. Production value-wise, there are some unique pieces with the soil and building the trees. I think all of that adds to it that, you know, it's just a fun game in general to me. The game does have some interesting pieces, and the theming and pictures will remind you of Arc Nova. However, the mechanics are totally different. And other than having a lot of cards, there's really nothing that I would say you can compare the two, but it's nothing like Arc Nova. I think Arc Nova is that much better of a game than this one. However, I still enjoy this one. I would say the closer comparison with this game would be to Wingspan because you're building your tableau and you chain your events. Unlike Wingspan, where you are the only one who does your chain of events and only in one row, depending on which action you perform, with this one, every player will perform all of their matching color actions each time that action is chosen. So if I choose the green action, all of my green actions on all of my cards in my tableau, I will perform those actions. Same thing with the orange, the blue, and the yellow. And if you build it correctly, you can really get a lot of points from all the pieces that you put in your ecosystem. Also, if you build it correctly, you're kind of taking turns every turn. So it's just like, okay, what'd you do? All right, uh, and then you get, and then someone else goes and you're like, okay, uh, so yeah, it's good, but it's also a lot to keep track of. It's, you know, I know when I first played it, they were waiting on me again. <laughs> There's not a lot of downtime in the game because you're always taking an action. Whenever a player chooses one of the four main actions, the other players also get the minor action of that. So for example, if I choose to plant an earth card, I get to plant two. Everyone else would get to plant one. If I get five soil, everyone else get two soil. Along those lines, that's kind of how that works with the major action and the minor action. However, if you can chain your events and you're always performing actions because you have one of the matching colors for all of the actions, you'll always be taking many actions every time. If I choose green and Lee chooses green and the next player chooses green and I have lots of green actions, I'm doing that chain every single turn for each player. When you first start learning and playing the game, there's a lot of iconography that you have to learn. So once you've got that language down, you know, everything's kind of color coded. A lot of times with these games, I always like to figure out how I build my like resource engine. Like how do I make that really good that I'm just like getting resources. I don't need to spend a turn trying to get resources. I think that was the biggest thing I was trying to figure out when we first played. This is a very high scoring game because for the most part, everything is worth points. Cards in your compost are worth points. Your growth are worth points. Your sprouts are worth points. Pretty much the only thing not worth points are the little compost pieces, which I call the little poop pieces. So if you're not scoring above 200, 215, 250 even in that range, then you're probably not keeping up with where the final scoring is gonna be. I really enjoy games like that. I love where you could just score. Everything that you do, you can score a point. You could do this and you're really racking up the points. However. I know that some people may not like that because they want their points to feel like they matter more. So every point feels like that much more important. However, I like it when 
Everything that I do feels like I'm building towards something. And if that's counting points that you're earning by building every time you're doing, I'd rather do that rather than build, 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 build. And then at the end, I got five points by doing all of that, but five points is still good. I'd rather build, 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 and then get 200 points and be like, yeah, every step along the way, I earn those 200 points. I'm more of a visual, like I want to see the progress. So like you build your little sprout or your little trees and then you get sprouts and place them on there. So, you know, like even if you lost count, right, you can just be like, oh, well, that's at least that many points. So I'm good. So just kind of building your little tableau or your own little earth up. I like the visual seeing the points, too. The interaction in this game is you're paying attention to what the other players do for their action, so you know what action you're doing on every turn. But other than that, you can't really affect the other players. There's no take that. There's nothing where you can steal from them or those kind of actions. So for the most part, it's solitaire, but you're paying attention to what the other players are choosing. However, once they've chosen their action, then it's, okay, what'd you do? Now focus only on mine. So it's kind of like a, a solitaire game where it's like, all right, we're all starting. All right, what's the action? And solitaire game. And then you're doing your thing, running through your tableau. So it's kind of a mixed bag as far as player interaction goes. Yeah, you have to take a quick snapshot of their tableau, see if they're going for any of the like milestones or in-game goals that maybe you want to try and get to first, if not pivot. But you're right. Other than that, it's like, okay, huh? <laughs> The first time you play this game, it can take a long time because you're always like, oh wait, I do something every turn. What do I do? Which is better? However, I feel the second, third, fourth game, the more that you play it, once you know the language of the iconography, once you kind of have a strategy, you can blow through this game pretty quick. And I'd say even a four player game may even go under an hour if everyone's really focused on what they're doing. When you first start, you get your player board and your pieces, but then you also get your island, climate, and ecosystem cards. These cards are double sided. And so you get to choose like, okay, I'll do this side for this one, this side for this one, and this one. And it kind of sets you up on what your strategy is or how you're going to be playing the game. So even though I really enjoyed this game, it does have some negative features. It does get a little repetitive because you're building a four by four tableau. And it's always, okay, you're doing this, doing this. And so it just feels like you're doing the same thing over and over again. And that's heightened by the fact that you only have four main actions that you're choosing. I'm doing this action, I'm planting two cards. I'm doing this action, I'm getting five compost. I'm doing this action, I'm getting six sprouts. And then the next player does it. And then you're also taking the action. So there's never a time for you to sit and go, okay, I did good. Let me think about my strategy take it all in, absorb it, come back and go. Because you're always moving, it just kind of feels like a grind halfway through. You're just like, okay, I'm doing this and trying to finish. And when you're down to two cards, you're just like, okay, I'm just gonna finish this game and let's see how the chips fall. Overall, I really do think the deluxe edition is the way to go. The wooden pieces are great to have and to see. The artwork, I think, is what really like sells me on this because it's not just plants, it's not just animals, it's the sky, it's all, it's all cool things that really let you see Earth for what it is. So I'm gonna give this game a seven. Overall, I really enjoyed this game. I like a lot of the different mechanics that it's integrated into each other. I like the chaining. I like that players always have actions. However, they also have a downside in that it gets kind of repetitive because of you're always performing the actions over and over again. And because you're always moving, you don't get a time to stop and breathe and take it all in. I can see why a lot of people like it. However, I just don't see why a lot of people are in love with this game. So overall, I'm also going to give the game a seven. And that was our review of Earth. What'd you think? Are you ready to plant this game on your table for game night? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying our content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Lee. And I'm Kenny. And go party like a board gamer.